Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today's video is super exciting because we are going to be taking a look, it almost fell out there, at my Charlotte Tilbury collection. I am going to film this as a get ready with me style, so you're going to see me create this look here using all of the products that I own from Charlotte Tilbury. There is much more that I want to own. I want the contour wands. I want to try a color corrector. I just want more Charlotte Tilbury in my life. I'd love to try her powder, but I have tried several of her items here, and I thought that I would just share with you as part of my collection series, my Charlotte Tilbury collection. This is also super exciting because it is in collaboration with my friend Emily from Emily's Makeup Bag. We have collaborated before. She is another teacher friend of mine who loves beauty and makeup like I do. She lives in Iowa. I am originally from Michigan. So we have those Midwestern roots together and we're both teachers who love makeup. So I thought, who better to collab with than my good friend Emily. So I'm gonna have Emily's channel listed down below. I will have her video linked down below. Definitely make sure you go and check her out. She's super sweet, she's so kind. She actually, if you're new here, I have been filming videos since 2015, but after my daughter was born in 2019, I took 14 months off and I'm trying to get like, well, I mean, I've been back for a year, but I was trying to get back into the social media game. What is this hair doing over here? This is why I never wear my hair down. But I was trying to get back into the social media game and Emily has been super helpful, especially over on Instagram, just like telling me about the things that have changed and she's just been super helpful. She's super kind. She's very sweet and I just really enjoy her. I enjoy her videos and I think that you will love her as well. And you will find out later in the video why I decided that she would be the perfect person to collab on this video with, but it has to do with my lips. So stay tuned for that. And if you are coming over from Emily's channel, hello, welcome. Thank you for clicking on my video. My name is Kelly and I love all things makeup and beauty. I love talking. I love makeup. I love talking about makeup. So if you like to chat about makeup too, I would love to invite you to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Stay a while. Like I mentioned when I was talking about Emily, I am a Midwestern girl born and raised in Michigan. I've been living in Texas for over a decade now, and I'm also an elementary school teacher. But why don't we go ahead? I have a basket full of goodies here, and let's just start talking about my Charlotte Tilbury collection. Okay, so I thought this would be fun to do it like get ready with me style. So as I'm sharing the products that I own, I'm also going to be applying them to the face. So we're going to start with the eyes. And I do have two quads by Charlotte Tilbury. This one right here is in Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk is what Charlotte Tilbury is known for. It's her signature like pinky nude shade. So in this quad here, we have two matte shades, a shimmer shade and a shimmer topper. Then the other quad that I have is called the Rebel. And in this quad, you have four shimmer shades. So the shades on the back are listed as Prime for the gold. This one right here is supposed to be Enhance. Underneath Enhance is Smoke. And then over here is Pop. But in this one, you do have all shimmer shades. So I like to use this more as like a companion palette. Whereas the Pillow Talk, I can use that as a full palette to create a full look. These palettes here retail on Sephora's website for $53. So I'm going to go ahead and prime. I don't know if Charlotte Tilbury has an eye primer. I do not have it if she does. So I'm just going in with my Fenty eye primer, the little mini, and we're going to go ahead and blend it out. So I'm actually going to use both of these palettes. I haven't done that before, but I wanna go into this matte shade in the Pillow Talk with my Sigma E40. I'm just going to get a little bit on a nice fluffy brush, and we're gonna put that right in the crease. I like having a matte shade in the crease. I'm not a fan of shimmers. You could use some of those shimmer shades in the crease if you really wanted to, but I'm going for more of a matte look. So that's why we're gonna take this 
shade right here and this brush might be a little bit too fluffy so I'm going to go in with something that's still fluffy but a little bit more tapered the Sigma E35 dip into that same shade there we go that's just going to deposit the pigment a little bit more concentrated in that crease then I'm going to go in with that first brush that I was using the Sigma E40 and with the pink shade up here I don't necessarily think that pink and green is the best combo. You could go in with a bronzer, a brown shade, whatnot. I'm really just using the pink to blend out the crease and make sure we don't have any harsh lines. So then going into the Rebel palette, I want to take this green shade on the top and this is just a medium eyeshader by Royal and Langnickel. I like to spray all of my brushes with Fix Plus, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a little bit of the shadow onto the brush here, spritz it with Fix Plus, and then we will apply that right to the lid. It's a beautiful like olive green with a hint of gold. This shade is very pretty. If you're like intimidated by color, you want a shade that's like more on the neutral side, but you want a little bit of a pop. This is a beautiful palette for that. Then for a little bit of fun, because why not, I'm gonna go in with my BK Beauty 207 and this shade right down here that's called Smoke. It does have, ooh, it's kind of powdery. It does have flecks of glitter. I'm just tapping off some of the excess powder and I'm just going to press this right into that outer corner. See how it gives it like a little bit of a smoky vibe? Just be careful. That shade was really powdery. I do have a little bit of fallout there. Okay, so then I'm going to take that gold finger, that gold finger, that gold shade on my finger. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. And pop that right in the center just to add a little bit more punch to the palette to the look there it doesn't do a whole lot but it just makes it a little a little extra okay so we're gonna take a break for a minute I know you might be saying your eye look is not finished don't worry we will come back to that but I do want to share the next product that I'm going to talk about because I'm actually going to use this underneath the eyes and it is the Charlotte Tilbury, I guess I don't really need to say Charlotte Tilbury, it is the Airbrush Bronzer, the Matte Bronzer and I have the shade 2. Even though I'm really fair, I felt like shade 1, which is fair, would have been just a little bit too fair. So I do have the medium shade, I love this bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer. It is nice and matte, but it blends. It's so creamy and very soft, and it gives me a very natural bronze. So I'm actually going to use that and put that underneath my lower lash line. So I'm just gonna take this little eye fluff brush and dip it into the bronzer here and put that right underneath my eyes. This bronzer is very versatile. As you can see, you can use it to bronze. I even use it to contour a little bit to give myself, to give my face, I should say, a little bit of definition. But if you're going for like a quick and easy look, this would be a great crease shade as well. The only downside to this bronzer is that it is $55. It's really expensive, so I would recommend getting it on sale getting it either during the Sephora VIB sale or I actually got it when I used my points. I did use 2,500 points and traded it in for a $100 gift card for Sephora and that's when I actually picked up this bronzer. I definitely think it's worth it, but get it on sale because it's a pricey one. I'm gonna go back into the Rebel and I'm gonna use that smoke shade again that I used in the Outer V and my BK204 and just get a little bit of this and put it right on that outer corner just to smoke my eye out a little bit. The thing I wanna say about these eyeshadow palettes is I do enjoy them. I think they're nice, but I don't know if they're nice for the price. You are paying over $50 for four shades, and that's really expensive. And although I do enjoy these quads, they're not what I reach for on a day-to-day, -day, like 
every day getting ready for work type of basis. So if you are going to get these, again, I would say get them on sale. The quality is not the best, but it is good quality. I have formulas that I enjoy more, but I do like to reach into these. I think I can create a really pretty look and I don't regret having them, but like take this one for example, the Rebel. I use this in conjunction with another palette because there are no mattes. So you just kind of have to think about that. I think they're good palettes, but I don't by any means think that they're like must-haves. Okay, so I really like an inner corner pop, so I am going to go back into Pillow Talk here, and I'm gonna take that lightest shade in the corner, use my pinky, and just pop it right there on the inner corner, just for a little, a little extra. Now we will move on to the face. So I am going to go back into the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. It's not gonna be the only bronzer that I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna take my BK 107 brush. I'm gonna dip it in. This brush is fluffy, but it's more like dense and almost in the shape of like an oval and I like to just press it like right above the hollow of my cheeks and then blend it out and I just do this until I get the pigmentation that I like but as you can see even though this is medium and I'm really fair I feel like it doesn't look like it's too much on the skin you know, like I still think that it looks nice. This is more of a warm bronzer, so if you're someone who like, you know, takes bronzing and contouring very seriously, which is not me, then you won't want to use this to contour, which is pretty much what I'm doing, but I really don't care. I think it works fine. So once I've started to create some structure to the face, I like to go in with the next product in my collection, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronzing Glow in Fair Medium. Now I wanna say that this is like over $60. I haven't seen it on the Sephora website lately. I know that they have a mini for half the price for $30. I would definitely recommend the mini even if you can find the full size. How can I get this to stay up without it dropping? Even if you can find the full size. I've had this for several years. I've used it a ton. I haven't hit pan yet. So I definitely think minis are like the way to go, especially because you can save a little bit of money. But this is a great product. I also really love the bronzer. I'm going to go in with the BK 103, which is like the brush that we just used, but a little bit bigger. And I'm going to dip into the sculpt side. And I'm just going to use that to kind of like I mean, I guess that could kind of be reversed. Like you could use the sculpt to contour and then the medium to bronze, but I kind of use it since it's lighter just to diffuse those edges. I do have a pretty like oval shaped face, I feel like. So I do like to create some dimension and depth, but I'm not really worried about like contouring too much. I just wanna get some color on there. And you don't have to use these in conjunction with each other. Like, I don't always, but since I'm doing this as like a collection try-on video, I just thought that I would use them both because why not? Okay, so although I haven't been able to find the Film Star Bronze and Glow on the Sephora website, you can get the full size $68 on the Charlotte Tilbury website. So I just wanted to let you know about that. I do have two blushes in my collection. I feel like, no, so maybe the Film Star Bronze and Glow might have been my first product because this was a gift from my best friend Smegs. And then following that, it might have been a blush. So this blush right here is one that Nicole Guerrero raved about. I will link the name on the screen here, but you can see it's darker in the middle and lighter on the outside. And while I don't know if this is technically considered a matte or what, it just says swish and pop blusher. It It is more matte, but it gives you a nice sheen on the face. Then the other shade that I have is her Notorious Pillow Talk shade. This one does have more of a noticeable sheen and it's a little bit darker on the inside and lighter, I'm sorry, darker on the outside and lighter on the inside. 
Pillow Talk is the shade that we're going to use today, and I'm just going to take a nice fluffy brush, I'm just wiping it off a bit, and I just kind of swirl it, like, all over, and apply that right to the cheeks. I love this blush formula because it gives you a nice healthy sheen, but it's not glowy, there's no chunks of glitter, and I have dry skin, so I love when I have a healthy sheen, but I also am not a huge fan of, like, chunks of glitter, specks of glitter in my makeup. So I don't want it to look like a highlighter because I'm going to go in with a highlighter. But I just think these blushes are so beautiful and they're buildable. So they start out going on pretty light and then you can build them up, which I like because less is more in the beginning. And especially if you have more of a fair skin tone, you can start off light. If you have more of a deeper or tan skin tone, you can always go in and add a little bit more. Okay, so then for highlight, we're going to go back into the, the Sculpt and Glow, the Film Star Bronze and Glow, and we're going to go into the highlight shade. Now, the thing about this highlighter is it's definitely very soft and natural looking. I'm someone who likes a boom in your face kind of highlight, but again, I don't want it to be chunky or glittery, but I do want to have a very highlighted look. And this does not give it to me. This is very subtle and soft. It's almost more of like a lit from within, like a glassy look. So if you like a punchy pop, don't go for this one. If you have textured skin or wrinkles or something that you're trying to hide, then this will give you a nice like illuminated look without being too much. Then for lips, I do have two lip liners. I will let you decide which one I've had longer. This one is in the shade Pillow Talk. I will swatch them for you. Pillow Talk again. More of that like pinky mauve shade. And then the other shade that I got because of Samantha March is Iconic Nude. And again, this one is more brown. So for today's video, we are going to go in with Iconic Nude to line the lips. So as you can see, I did fill them in a little bit, but I left the very center blank because the lipstick that I'm going to go into is actually the inspiration for this collab with Emily. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick. I don't know the full name of it, but it's in Kim KW, okay? This is the lipstick right here. I was gifted this lipstick by Smegs several years ago, and I do really like it. I'm more of a liquid lip type of lover, but this is a great peachy nude, and I love going in with this with a deeper lip liner, but I would wear this in my videos. I would list it in my description box, and then I would have a message from Emily on Instagram saying, oh my gosh, I loved your lipstick, and it was Charlotte Tilbury, Kim KW. And then another video would go out, oh my gosh, I loved your lipstick, and it was Charlotte Tilbury, Kim KW. She finally got her hands on this lipstick, and I was already thinking about doing like a full get ready with me showcasing my Charlotte Tilbury collection, but I was like, Emily, now that you have Kim KW, I feel like we have to do this collab together. So we did. So this is the reason why this video is happening today. Now the way that I like to apply this is I did swipe it on my bottom lip, but I just tapped like this. On the top lip because I still want to have like that ombre effect. I want to see the deeper nude underneath, but I also want to showcase like this beautiful nude lip here. And before I forget to mention it, this lipstick here, okay, so this is the Hot Lips formula and it's $34. So this is the finished look here using my Charlotte Tilbury collection. I did forget to mention, in case you are just keeping track of the prices, the Charlotte Tilbury Chic to Chic, is that how you say it? Chic? Cheek to Chic blushes are $40 if you're interested, but I also had a fail. 
I had a fail moment because after I did my whole face and I was flat ironing my hair and getting ready to film the outro, I completely forgot that I had a Charlotte Tilbury mascara. I picked this up, I think, during the Sephora VIB sale. This is the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara, and I have not opened it yet. I am someone who doesn't have a ton of mascaras open. I just have, like, usually two or three at a time, and I have not opened this one yet, so I forgot to use it, and I can't speak to it. This is the little mini size. It's supposed to be very volumizing, which is typically what I look for in a mascara. Smegs loves this one, so I can't tell you how I feel about it because I haven't tried it yet. But I do have that in my collection also. And that is going to wrap up the video. I know that Charlotte Tilbury is definitely a more expensive brand. You can order directly from their website, you can find them at Sephora, and they, they are much more expensive than some of the other brands. So I just wanted to tell you, like, out of my collection, if you wanted to try out Charlotte Tilbury, if you wanted to get, like, one thing, what would I recommend out of what I have? And honestly, I would have to say, this is hard, maybe the top three things that I would recommend and then you can decide on your preference. One, I definitely recommend the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Bronzer. I think this bronzer is amazing. Like I talked about in the video, it definitely blends out nice and smooth. You can see I don't think medium is too deep for my skin, but it gives me like a healthy look. It makes me look flushed and bronzed. I really like it. I like that it's versatile. I used it on my lower lash line as well. It is more expensive, but it is a nice bronzer. I love the packaging. You get a a nice big mirror in it and it's definitely a favorite of mine. Another thing that I would recommend are the blushes. I love the Charlotte Tilbury blushes. Again, I'm really into the packaging. You get a nice big mirror on the inside and I just really like that you have two different shades that you can mix together. You can also, if you want a little bit of a deeper shade, you can go into the deeper side. If you want a lighter shade, you can go into the lighter side. But I like that they give you like a nice satin finish, a nice flush to the face, and I just really enjoy the blush formula. The third thing that I would recommend are the lip cheats. I love the lip liners. They're pricey for a lip liner. I don't think I told you the price, so let me look it up really quick. The lip liners are $22, so they are a little bit pricey, but as you can see, I mean, I've used a ton of Pillow Talk. It's more of a pinky shade, and then Iconic Nude is more of a nude shade. I think they sharpen really well. You can get a nice point at the tip. Can you see that there? And they last a really long time. They're creamy on my lips. My lips tend to be a little bit dry, like the rest of my face, everything is dry. But uh, these do not tug on my lips. They're very nice and creamy and long wearing. So I definitely would recommend those as well. If I was gonna tell you to pass on anything, now I like everything that I've used, but if I was going to tell you to pass on something, unfortunately, I think I would tell you to pass on the quads. And that's because you're paying $53 for four eyeshadow shades and while I think the formula is nice I just feel like there are all kinds of eyeshadow palettes out there everything from indie to mainstream you can get larger palettes I haven't tried any of her larger palettes I think the formula is nice I just don't know that I would recommend if you're just trying to like dabble in Charlotte Tilbury if you're just trying them out I don't think the eyeshadows are what I would go for first and with that, that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much to my beautiful friend Emily for collaborating with me. If you have not already visited Emily's channel, I will have her linked down below. Go check her out, send her some love, send her the purple heart emoji, because purple is my favorite color, letting her know that I sent her that I sent you over. And if you came from Emily's channel, I would love to have you subscribe, stay a while, be part of the K Bella fam. That way I can see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.